eight sources, but she said you guys should have around 10 right now. One of them must be a primary source, one of them must be a print source, and she's going to check your sources next week for credibility, so make sure you have them with you. And she'll know what they are anyways, because the assignment, another assignment that you have this week is going to be to get your annotated works cited emails to her. So if you guys would turn in your books to page 164. to 
make sure you have the sources you need and you know how to use them for what you're doing right now. That's a good question. Any other questions? Okay, so next paper that I gave you right there, again, is the grading, is the actual checklist <laughs> for this exercise. There's a lot of checklists for this one. So again, it's about revising your thesis statement, make sure, making sure that it is changing and evolving and getting better. Um, did you make sure you used the thing for the, the online engine thing for doing your MLA format? Um, make sure you change it, the format when you copy and paste it to New Times Roman number 12. Remove spaces, create a half inch hanging indent. Um, and then again, this is about your sources being credible and your summary of your article is probably going to be the most important thing that you need to worry about right now is the summary and how you're going to use it. Because for you guys, obviously, having the MLA format done for you takes on the computer takes a little bit of the pressure off of that. But you just you need to work on your paragraphs to make sure that they're written well. All right, and then that last sheet, again, is another checklist <laughs> for this. You have like three checklists now to make sure you do really well on this assignment. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions on what is expected of you as far as doing this? It is going to take time, which is why she told you guys to bring your computers and your sources with you today, because you had the rest of the time we're in here to work on, finish that 30, exercise 32 and start working on this, because you have to have an email to her by Saturday, and like I said, it's going to take some time, because you're going to have to summarize and actually apply what you're doing in these paragraphs. Any questions? You're always quiet. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and get out your stuff and start working and ask me any. I will, I'm here to help you. So anything that you need, I can help. <laughs> you can go down to wait for the piano. Sure. Yes. You may go down to the music and the tape and guitar and make sure it's other very well over there. This is not exciting. A couple more years, kiddo. Can I use my phone to research them? Yes, you can. Oh, also I'm supposed to remind you that you're supposed to be continuing to read The Art of War and you're going to discuss it next week. I'm so glad I didn't have to I had to read half of The Old Man and the Sea to prepare for the next class, so I'm glad I got to read Art of War too. I mean, I like The Old Man and the Sea, but I've a lot of extra reading. <laughs>